Hello Slayer folks, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today we're reacting to episode 13. I can't believe it, we're past the midway point officially. It's pretty early right now. I had a bit of a wild night, so I may be a little lower energy. I had some tequila shots, I broke my weed sobriety, but I'm gonna save my sins confessions for my... <laughs> podcast young millennials if you want to check it out that episode will be out by the time that this is but weirdly enough it's episode 13 of my podcast and this is episode 13 anyways lucky 13 last episode was so good so fun like i'm kind of scared moving forward god i really need to be on for this i hope it, it, it's gonna turn me on like let's be real anyways i, I need to react to this so much happened i talked a lot at the end of the last reaction so i guess we can just kind of get into it someone said an interesting comment where brian they saw brian kissing michael with kind of like reverse psychology of he like did that to kind of push michael away but i don't know like i felt like that was super intense there's something there from that, but I guess maybe not, and I guess I will see. Anyways, if you'd like to watch the uncut reaction, check out my Patreon, link will be below. Check my YouTube memberships if you're not a Patreon hoe and want to watch the early YouTube edits there instead of the early YouTube edits on Patreon. There's also a bunch of other tiers I'd love to do. I don't, oh, I might have not have said this on here yet, but yeah, I launched a YouTube memberships. I'd love to do like a monthly live stream where we could have like an intimate chat about the show like I want to talk to you guys whatever YouTube I appreciate you guys so much let's get into it oh my god mm. watch the calls I can't concentrate I started watching you uh, shouldn't have any trouble sinking help. into that hole <laughs> <laughs> get him to take a goddamn flyer we never Rolling see brian in such a light color i started writing my supernatural fantasy novel and i have a pool scene and it's really cute and sexy and gay too how about pittsburgh's own davina devore says here she's in town a worn out old drag queen is a legend Center for early development. Oh my god, is Gus going to school? I was also wondering, I feel like it would be really cool if, I doubt it, but it would be cool if the show had a five-year jump at some point. The Don't tell me if it does or not. Of human diversity. What about sexual orientation? orientation? Oh yes, by all means. Are there any children of same-sex couples enrolled? Not yet. We intend to make every effort to change that. I mean, it just has to be a natural thing starting with you guys the masterpiece that's what it is for 50 bucks you'll be buying the next michelangelo you didn't tell me you had your very own show <laughs> it's his art that's next i didn't realize you want something to eat i love seeing taylor wait father yeah i don't want to talk about him well wish we didn't have to either but yeah what's the tea what's the update he says he's not going to pay for your school anymore Idiot. I've got a little in my savings. I can cash in my IRA. I'm not taking your money. You and Molly need that to live. Forget it. I'll take care of it myself. Uh, Brian. Guys, is a she a real drag queen? Nobody makes a better woman than a gay man. A woman looks like that. Big red wig and tons of jewelry and gaudy clothes. Mm. My mother does not look like that. <laughs> I'm mad I didn't catch that. Thank you, That's hysterical. That is oh, Debbie man. as Let's a drag queen. one of those maniac demons who thinks she's the center of the universe. Sparkling. Yeah, uh, bubbling. Stop. You'll make me burp. Mr. Vor? Hmm. We wanted to ask you... For my autograph. Yeah. <laughs> well, for your help organizing this charity event. It's for a very good cause. Mm. Is there ever a bad one? For Angels Over Pittsburgh? Hoping you might perform. I'd love to. You, you would. would if I didn't already spend half my life doing benefits. So I will apply for a scholarship or a loan. But what are you going to use for collateral, your ass? Stop being such a twat. I'm just trying to help you. You've helped enough. I practically owe you my fucking life. What do you mean practically? Oh, God, I love them. I love him. Stop. You always have to take care of me. And I don't want to I mean, you're fucking Fine, young, then go but... ahead. But don't come crying to me when 
<laughs> yeah, think of it like you'll pay him by. I don't think you do anything for him. Mm. Uh. Is he into it or disgusted? I can't tell. Into it. Like Ben always says, you have to take a positive energy for it. Angels over well, Pittsburgh. That's like energy. so sweet. That just gave me chills. What's wrong with me? Is she in town? Yeah, we begged her to perform at the benefit, but she turned us down. She always was a selfish prick. I knew her when she was a him. Danny divorced him. We went to high school together. No! If you used the personal connection, you could convince her to change her mind. Me? You're our only hope. She's a friend of the family. But she's kind of an asshole. I'm sure she... He didn't get in. Yeah. Apparently not our kind of people. Who was all that crap about looking for a kid with same-sex parents? I don't want the show to end. I love them so much. Would like that. Oh. Now you're busy, Miss DeVore. Then why are you here? Yes, yes, well, yes. I was hoping you might change your mind. If you'll kindly show yourself out. Guess my uncle was right. Excuse me? Nothing. Just something he said. He knew you back in high school. And who was that? Vic Grassy. Vic Grassy? Is he the one you told me was sick? I have chills. Now, now that he's on the cocktails. I'm glad to hear it. Tell him I said hello. Vic is your uncle, then Debbie must be your mother. You knew my mom? I dated her. <gasps> you? I fucking I mean, oh, Back then, I was a male impersonator. I did a pretty convincing act, too. Your mom yeah. was a real looker. <laughs> Still is. Just now there's more to look at. <laughs> Benefit of yours. When is it? Friday night. I'll be there. After my show. That's so cool. Thank you. How long has it been since you saw my mom? Not since that summer after graduation. Dang. I left town after that. I wonder if we'll see him out of drag in this episode. Hi, Debbie. Hey, guys. Hi, baby. I hear your old boyfriend's in town. Ooh. What the fuck's he talking about? <laughs> I met someone that you used to know. Danny DeVore. Oh, my God. He broke her heart. Michael got her to agree to perform at the Angel Ball. Thanks to you. What did I have to do with it? Oh, she said she couldn't possibly turn down the son of her former flame. You shut your mouth. He had no right to talk to my kid about my personal life. He just said that you two used to go out. It's like a million years ago. He must have broke her heart. Battle for your life, Babylon. Well, my offer still stands. So does my answer. I'm gonna do this on my own. I feel like I'm always like, take the money on these reactions. <laughs> But I. It looks like a good night. There's nothing I got it, obviously, and I'm also really? feeling that way because it's a show. I mean, it really sucks. But also, there. like, you Why could always doing pay the person back. You could think of it as a loan, and it's a genuine thing. You could even pay him like monthly. Do you want a dork? I was. Oh, you weren't a dork. Oh my god. I was a dork. Fat chance. You have no idea how fat. Oh, Benny. You were more sweet. Love you, Patty. Danny Devore. Hmm. Kind of cute. You have a thing for dweebs. <gasps> That's his dad. <gasps> I don't have any positions open. Uh, I'm sure that if you saw me. Hey, I'm busy. All right. Hey, watch your fucking tone. One dance. That's all. Oh my god. If I suck, you can kick this my ass out. This is fun. No pecs, no abs, no biceps. I have a great ass, and I'm blonde. You have no idea how far that gets me. I never hear One a dance. twink. Make it good. Give us Brittany. Try not to step my wonton. He said I'd be pulling anywhere from two to three hundred a night. Oh. I want you to be my husband. Hmm. You already have one didn't say. There's nothing mom doesn't say. Look, Michael, it was a long time ago. Why don't you ask her? Ask me what? About Danny DeVore. I haven't heard his name mentioned in 30 years, and now all of a sudden... He's 30. What are you talking about? It doesn't look the least bit like you. <laughs> it's his twin, babe. This is your father, John Michael Novotny. It was a long time ago. Just tell him matter. he's 30 years old. I just want to know the truth. Are you calling me a liar? Well, are you lying? Oh, I don't like this. I won't mention dick if you don't mention pussy. You know what I mean. I don't want you getting into one of your... So don't be nervous. Heart rate was any lower, I'd be dead. <laughs> oh. In fact, there was even a time when we first met that I thought this could have been the reality. 
Did you ever feel that way? No. <laughs> Absolutely not. Doesn't mean I don't love you. Mr. and Mrs. Kinney. Great timing. That was so good. We'll discuss Gus's future. I'd never in a million years know it was you. 30 years is a long time. By 31. <laughs> Michael is a very nice young man. I'm very proud of him. And I would be too. In fact, he reminded me a lot of someone I used to know. His Only old at first dog. I couldn't figure out who it was. And then when I discovered that you were his mother, I realized. I have chills. I was looking at myself in a mirror through time. I have chills. This is a great guy because he really looks like him. You'd already left town. That's not an excuse. We're off to the big city to be a star. Well, what was I supposed to do? Call you up and say, hey, guess what? You're a dad. So you decided to have him on your own, raise him on your own. Must have taken a lot of courage. It was the easiest decision I ever made. Oh, we were with her almost two and a half hours. Seems really impressed. Well, that's a good sign, isn't it? Two and a half hours. Hello? Miss Harper. We would be so pleased if Gus was enrolled in... What? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Oh, I understand. Thank you for calling. Two hours for nothing? What? What'd she say? He didn't get in. What? Why? He didn't get in. They only had one spot open, and they gave it to another child with same sex parents. Are you shitting me? The board decided that the student population had to be more diverse. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing I think to... this is funny. <laughs> It's hilarious. I mean, we just gotta laugh. First thing tomorrow, we're gonna look for another school. And this time, Gus's parents, Lindsay and Melanie, will go to the interview. Yeah. You don't know for sure that my mom lied to me. My father's not a war hero. He's Judy Garland. <laughs> <laughs> Prefer Betty Davis. Betty Davis eyes. Mr. Bina DeVore. Really looks like Michael, an older Michael. Happiness I see. That's so cool. When we're out together dancing cheek to cheek. Michael. May I come in? Why? Well, I, I don't see it. How can you miss it? I mean, the way you looked back then, the way I look now, I mean, we're practically identical twins. Help me with this zipper. And they're too goddamn cheap. Are you my father. Spin him around. The timing is exactly right for you to have knocked her up. Your mother was hardly my type. Drag queens are notorious liars. Everyone knows that. Oh, we're going to see his real face. She says, I'm not even asking that we stay in touch. I just want to know the truth. Michael, tell you the one truth I've learned in all my years. The truth is what you choose to believe. Wow. Drag is truly magic. He what looks does it have completely to do with whether you're my different. father or, or if my mother lied to me? Your mother gave you something to believe in. A hero, a father you could be proud of because she loves you. Whether you choose to believe it or not is up to you. Something's gonna happen between these two. So how did I, I knew it instantly f from even the last Bye. scene. For your first time? The tips suck. What are you expecting? More than I make working at the diner. What? It was that you little? You need to dance in the bar. How do I do that? Look, you gotta work your way up. Maybe in six months. Six months? I need money now to pay for school. That is a problem. Just not his. Tell you what. You give me some time, I'll give you some time. I fucked my way up no, to the top. This is my show. But if you change your mind and decide you want to make, say, a couple of thousand a month, let me know. I always find it so interesting when, like, they want to, like, well, I guess it makes sense. Like, I figured it had been the other way around, but I got, I guess I got both, never mind. But mainly... I would think it'd be the other way around. Oh, I'm sorry, Justin. See, like, I would rather accept the money from Brian than go that route, like. But whatever, to each their own. It's late. 
I had to talk to the boss. Mm-hmm. He said starting tomorrow I could dance on the bar. That would be kind of fun to see, but it's only one night. It'd be nice if he just accepts the money here. Like you can pay Brian back. Well, what are you doing up so late? Couldn't sleep. What about you? Same. What are you doing? Putting things away. Making room. Something I should have done a long time ago. It's Dad's shrine. So you can't just get rid of it. No need for it now. What are you talking about? No need to pretend, Michael. The truth is... Just like you said, my father is Lieutenant John Michael Novotny. Died in Vietnam April 10th, 1970. Right, Ma? Right. It's kind of like accepting to just kind of move forward the way things were because... I guess the drag queen isn't going to be part of his life, which, I mean, sucks. I feel like that would be a good storyline to, like, have him come in and out, I guess. But I wonder. I don't have too much to say. That was more of a slower-paced episode, not in a bad way. But just, again, also, the storylines wrapped up themselves in the one episode. So it's, I have things to say, and then they get finished and then it's like okay i love that mel and Lindsay are gonna go forward i will say a little spicy prediction that i have because in the last episode i said i don't really have any predictions for mel and Lindsay, and then it kind of clicked when i was editing that with me saying it and because i mentioned lita if lita and Lindsay get in a tangled mess that would be crazy. I could kind of see that happening weirdly now. I kind of hope it doesn't because I, like I said, like I want them to just be end game for the rest of the time, but like what's gonna happen? Because I said like it's kind of tired if Lita goes with Melanie, but it would be a whole different story if she went with Lindsay. But it's neither here nor there. The rest of the boys kind of took a back burner. I really thought at the end of the episode that Justin was gonna accept Ryan's offer, I guess, because like he felt like bad about that. Accepting a money from someone you love and respect and someone that loves and respects you, like I get being an independent person, but he is young and Brian has the money and Again, Justin can pay him back. And if he wants to pay him back a little sexually, that would be way better than that freaking manager at the fucking Babylon, you know? But yeah, I guess that is it for this episode. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up, and I will see you guys on the next one. It's Billy Bitch. Bye.